Right now at 4 Developing News, the killing of George Floyd by Minneapolis police officers has sparked more than a week of protests in cities across the U.S. and a broader national discussion about systemic racism and police brutality in America. Today, the Minneapolis City Council held an emergency meeting to discuss changes to the city's police department in wake of Floyd's death, banning all chokeholds by police and requiring other officers to step in and stop them from happening. Here in Connecticut, peaceful protests continued. Protesters gathered again this morning in Hartford at Bushnell Park and in East Haven on the Green. A couple dozen people gathered there advocating change. And happening right now, people are protesting in several cities all across our state tonight. We have team coverage. Channel 3's Courtney Zeller is live in Wethersfield. But first, we go to Channel 3's Sharon Johnson, live in New Haven. Sharon? Well, this is by far the biggest rally I've seen so far this week in Connecticut. There has to be at least a thousand people out here right now in front of the New Haven Police Department. We're going to step out of the way so you can take a look. This group of people actually marched from the New Haven Green all the way down here to the New Haven Police Department. And this is something that no one was actually um, expecting them to do. And so the thing about this rally, the thing that makes it a little bit different is that it was organized by the City Youth Coalition. And as a part of this rally, one of the speakers said only people from the City Youth Coalition are going to be speaking. So this whole thing was organized by the youth as well as Black Lives Matter. And once again, they started at the City Green and they made their way down to the New Haven Police Department. So if you are down in downtown New Haven, just be aware that you may be facing some closures. And actually, this whole street is closed off right now. We are near Meadow Street in front of the New Haven Police Department. Now we spoke with some people earlier and the City Youth Coalition, they actually had a list of demands for the City Council and the Police Department. Their big demand, they want the City Council to divest from the New Haven Police Department and put that money towards affordable housing, put that money towards education. So that was the the beginning of the rally right now as you can see there are a lot of people out here a bunch of signs we're going to keep up with this developing situation people are chanting black lives matter and we also believe the police chief is out here with them right now so we're going to get back to you guys later on in a half an hour but right now reporting live in new haven sharon johnson channel three eyewitness news